Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. To do well in map and plan questions, you need to understand the language of location, especially prepositions of place, and direction. Here are definitions of these two types of vocabulary to make sure that you understand the difference between them and a few examples of each type. Location is where something is in relation to another object or place. Direction is the position towards which someone faces or moves. Common vocabulary of location includes near, in front of, next to, beside, across from and between. And common vocabulary of direction includes turn right, turn left, go straight on, travel northwest, go past. In this video, we'll look at five sets of vocabulary commonly used in map and plan questions, along with some sample sentences to show you the words and phrases used in context. Each set of sentences describes or gives directions on a map or plan to give you some practice at visualising the information, as you'll have to do in the test. We'll start with some simple prepositions of place. Vocabulary set one. Facing, in the middle or in the centre of, behind, between, next to, by, in front of. Now listen to these sentences to hear this vocabulary used in context. As you listen, identify the different areas on the plan that are being talked about. I've put the sentences on the next slide in case you want to study them to help you better understand the vocabulary and the sentence structures. The entrance is in front of the reception desk. The reception desk is facing the entrance. The pool is in the centre of the sports centre. The gym is behind the swimming pool. The pool is between the reception and the gym. The seating area is next to the pool. Here are the sentences. Pause the video if you want to study them. Vocabulary set 2. Left hand side. Right hand side. Turn right. To your right. Pass through. On the other side. Beyond, along, corner, go straight, beside. Now for the sentences with the vocabulary used in context. Again, I've put them on the next slide for you to study if you want to. The sports shop is on the left-hand side as you enter the sports centre. To the right-hand side of the entrance, there's a cafe. Pass through the entrance, turn right, and the cafe is immediately in front of you. The leisure centre is on the other side of the sports centre, to the dance studios. There is a large changing room just beyond the cafe. Walk along the side of the sports hall, and you'll find the second dance studio in the far corner of the building. Go straight along the corridor beside the sports hall and to your right you'll see two dance studios. And here are the sentences. Pause if you need to. Vocabulary set 3. Maps nearly always have compass points shown. You need to know the eight points of the compass as these are often used in the recording to describe position. The eight points are north, south, East, West, Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, and Southwest. There are several different ways you might hear them used. For example, to the north or to the south, in the northeast, in the southwest, north side, east side, west side, or south side, heading east, slightly west of, just southeast of. And here's some other vocabulary you'll hear in the next set of sentences. Near, first turning or second turning. On the left, straight ahead. Now listen to these sentences. 
The houses immediately to the north and south of the post office are very near the river. The bridge is just beyond the final row of houses heading north. After crossing the bridge, take the second turning on the left and you'll see the retirement home straight ahead. The retirement home is just southeast of the primary school. The post office is to the northwest of the retirement home. The village of Stokeford is slightly east of the River Stoke. There is a housing estate to the west side of the retirement home. Pause the video if you want to study them. Vocabulary set 4. Opposite. Across the road. Same side. Before you get to. Junction. Dead end. Leads off. And the sentences. The chemist is opposite a supermarket. They are going to build new houses across the road from the school at point G. There is a supermarket on the same side of the road as the library. Walk west along High Street and you'll pass the library before you get to the junction with Station Road. The bank is on a dead end road that leads off the High Street. And here they are written down. Vocabulary set 5. Bend. Just past. Alongside. Adjoining. Carry straight on. Here's the last set of sentences. The school is situated on a bend in the dual carriageway. The bus station is on the right just past the shopping centre. The town centre has a pedestrian walkway running alongside a row of adjoining shops. After passing the school on your right, carry straight on and you'll see the park on your left around the next bend. Pause one final time to study them. Practice using this vocabulary to describe places you know and it will soon become familiar. Also study my lesson on how to answer map and plan questions and practice answering map and plan questions from past papers. I've put a link to the lesson in the notes below this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.